Actually, India has a really big potential. And then I'm thinking, I'm the Korean, but I'm half of my life staying in India. How we cooperate actually together, and then we have a benefit. Actually, India said, uh, sorry, we have a very advanced advanced parties there, and then India said has advantage parties there. So how we can cooperate and then to create new actually developing together, because Korea is looking for the new partner, you know, in the world. And you know, where is we are. A, Unfortunately, North Korea and South Korea we divided, and uh, so very small countries. But we are uh, in the world tenth size of the economic countries. Only 50 years we made this size of the you know, country. So we know how to take countries, how efficient growing up, and how people can be the happy. But in 19 years when I stayed in here. Half the population of the Indian actually late with agriculture, but many farmer that are poor, and then they always uh, getting the and then how is the society you know, rate also really you know, high? So best thing is uh, there are actually agriculture is a base of the country, based of the inner life. Agriculture should be more bigger, and there should be people more getting the more proud. I'm doing the you know agriculture part, so. In Korea, all the farmer actually they are a lot of making money also. Then the all the you know like the government, you know, agents also always trying how technology we growing up and how farmer can make more profit and they be happy. And this is our base of the you know foundation for the country's economy and then actually life. So this this thing is how we cooperate because we have a technology and we are looking for the gateway and to understand what is India. Uh, needs and then what is the level of the technology and then what actually can do the you know, corporate. So today's session, I hope we can discuss, discuss a lot of things because we also understand about the Indian market through the, your eyes and through the, your experience. And from there, let's make a great idea and then how we go to the next step of the, you know, the business and then how we make the business model together. And then this is Dr. Go from the Quad. He also great, you know, supporting from you know, Korea, and, and then he was very interested in the market actually for the Korea, you know, technology and the Korea company come, you know, make the more business model to here. So uh, thanks again. We invite you to here, and then I hope today we be a lot of things can discuss, and then I want to make actually Korea and India's best friend countries and best business countries. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you so much for the opportunity for participating in Croatia event Agri Index. And uh, we know this event from last uh, three, four years, but we could not able to attend this event. Uh, we came to know that uh, from Dr. Sarinder Singhji uh, about this event, and we are already working with Dr. Sarinder Singhji from last four, five years. Uh, at that time, we just started uh, uh, for the Korea delegation coming to India, and uh, we invited a couple of uh, uh, manufacturers uh, coming to Korea. Uh, our intention is to bring the Korean technology to India uh, to part of uh, our Make in India program. And uh, because Korea had a lot of uh, uh, potential uh, technologies are available, which is uh, they plan for uh, a five years to ten years ahead of technology. They focus on it and uh, the institutions like Coart and Chemico and even the Kiart. Uh, these organizations are spending a lot of money, a uh, lot of billions of dollars for the R&D. But out of this 100% uh, R&D result, uh, not even 10 to 15% is commercialized. And uh, most of the technologies are uh, supplied to the big companies like Samsung, Hyundai, and LG. Uh, but all the SME sector, 
is always depending on these uh, big companies. That's the reason uh, Korean government is also promoting these SMEs should go out of Korea uh, to partner with uh, Indian companies or any other country uh, to do business uh, globally. But uh, they unfortunately they tried uh, many things with the China, but uh, they haven't got a successful result. Uh, that's the reason uh, uh, it's not friendly country for the business. Uh, they understand. So that's the reason uh, we putting a lot of efforts uh, from last few years uh, to understand the Korean companies why India is very much needed for the global markets for the manufacturing as well as marketing in India and uh, there is a potential, huge potential for uh, business scope for uh, these manufacturers but coming to uh, they don't know the, about Indian market so far so we are always educating them and we also uh, working with the institutions to support them uh, in a couple of promotions doing in India so this is the right time actually we started few years back but unfortunately due to covid we can't we can't expand um, this uh, last year uh, only we started incubating the korean technology in the pjts au in hyderabad uh, uh, then uh, we uh, we are uh, designing the projects uh, for uh, uh, agriculture technology uh, certification pilot testing and uh, doing the um, b2b uh, matchmaking and also for the commercializing in India in various models. <clears throat> the main intention of attending this Codesia is uh, uh, we came to we know we know from la, uh, long history that Codesia uh, Coimbatore is known for tex textile industry and uh, there is a huge potential uh, market of the manufacturing sector is here for the automotive components. So we we know uh, about Co Coimbatore uh, and uh, South India is very much progressive uh, uh, part of uh, Indian economy, uh, especially for manufacturing side. Uh, the Hyundai and uh, uh, even Kia Motors came to Anantapur. All the subsidiary companies uh, works under these companies also come in these days. So now this is the right time. I think we attended uh, Kodesia and uh, we are uh, hearing about uh, the members of Kodesia. Uh, it was very impressing that uh, this is a very good place uh, for the manufacturing. Uh, so that uh, uh, introducing the technology in a various ways, like uh, not only just selling a technology uh, product in India, our intention to bring the technology to uh, these platforms like Podesia. Uh, those those members uh, can see the potential of these technologies and evaluate and uh, uh, look forward for the partnerships that will help the industry as well as the uh, economy of both countries. Uh, the, this is the intention of doing uh, our activity, uh, especially for the agriculture sector. And uh, the cohort is known for uh, ICER in uh, Korea. They are more focused in uh, uh, R&D and supporting a lot of fund uh, for the, all the innovators and uh, companies. And they also do a lot of um, uh, activities like us. They have a huge seed bank they have a huge uh, manufacturing uh, network. They have a uh, uh, innovative R&D center. They have uh, they have an incubation center as well as they do themselves the intellectual property uh, registration and support. A bank they have, and uh, they also uh, do the certification for all the Korean companies uh, in Korea. Uh, especially they certify it for the global standard level certification they do. So similarly, what whatever has happening there, we even the product is very successful in Korea, but we don't know that will work for India market or not. That's the reason again, Coat is spending a lot of time and effort, uh, even money for this uh, supporting these companies to get certified in India. So we are doing a, we started doing a couple of projects now this year. Even last year we did a seed test in the National Horticulture Research Foundation in Delhi. Uh, this year we are doing a couple of uh, manufacturer certifications, uh, missionary certifications in uh, PGTSAU. But even uh, I hear that Coimbatore had a very good facility uh, for the uh, doing a certification process. Like even food processing sector also, Coimbatore is known uh, for the um, very good uh, industry uh, network we have. So that's the reason uh, this can be a base for uh, Korean companies to come into uh, Coimbatore. Now for the partnerships that will uh, definitely will help uh, this event uh, might be might be an introductory event but next year uh, even co, co, Dr. Co expressed uh, uh, about his uh, 
he was very uh, excited and inspired about this event. We want to bring more companies and technologies to be part of this event. Even not only uh, agriculture, we can look forward for renewable energy and other uh, things. But uh, in scope of what we have, agriculture is a major thing. And uh, as a VVO, we work with the Quad as well as Chemico, Korea Agriculture Mystery Industry Cooperative, like uh, AMA India. AMA India is not an uh, independent entity, but supported by the government. But uh, Chemico is a uh, government entity, um, and everything is funded by the government, uh, government, the Ministry of Trade and Industry and Energy. So under them, uh, there are uh, 1100 plus uh, missionary manufacturers are there. But uh, uh, we are focusing on a few technologies only which are uh, more useful for Indian farmers as well as the industry. Um, that's the reason we are picking and choosing, especially post-harvest uh, solutions we don't have uh, much in India. The packing technology is also very much needed. So those uh, things are, are we are working on right now. And uh, there are so many uh, innovative technologies in biotechnology, uh, especially for organic farming. Uh, that will help for uh, future. Uh, we are banning a lot of fertilizer usage in uh, uh, our feeds because uh, that will harm the future generation. We cannot even sustain our uh, requirements of Indian uh, food requirements. So this uh, this kind of uh, uh, new technology and uh, conventional. We are going back to our uh, ancient days. How we are doing organic way of doing uh, uh, fertil uh, uh, agriculture. So this kind of technologies we definitely want to introduce through Coart and uh, uh, we identify the companies. So all, all the members, I'm really thankful uh, for this opportunity for us to give a platform uh, to bring these companies and helping uh, uh, Indian farmers as well as helping uh, Indian economy. Uh, our intention is to bring uh, a lot of products and technology uh, make in India so that we can uh, cater our uh, production to other uh, global markets. Because Korea has a very good standardized uh, process and uh, they already made a process for uh, global standards. Uh, they are comparing with Japan and uh, Germany. So, and India has a lot of potential for uh, human resource and manpower. We have intellectual property, that is uh, intellectual brain we have. And also infrastructure we have. So plugging all these two, these two things together, I think uh, India can lead uh, the entire world and uh, we can be a global guru for uh, uh, the world, I think. So this is what our intention and uh, we keep uh, doing our efforts. And uh, thanks for the Croatia uh, Chairman Ji, uh, Kumar Ji. And uh, I'm really thankful for your uh, all the support and hospitality. I really appreciate uh, for all the Croatia members uh, to uh, help us in this process. Thank you so much. Gap between the Indian uh, machinery and the Korean machinery and Indian farmers' way of uh, cultivation and uh, Korean farm cultivation. How do you really try to bridge this gap and make sure that uh, the machinery that you always bring or the technology you always uh, bring to India is uh, uh, you know, usable or customer friendly? And uh, what kind of investment or what kind of uh, uh, financial or the uh, research uh, in the market front and the end user level you do because that is what really needed yes we have got technology and this end is a market so how do you really uh, make sure that the indian entrepreneur or indian uh, uh, you know industry list could collaborate and make sure it's a win win for both of us actually uh, this this question is always arising uh, the korean technology and uh, how indian partners can join so even uh, the product is uh, very successful in Korea, that may not suit such in India. Uh, but more if you, uh, we, there are so many uh, uh, um, so many uh, things that are matching with India. That is, uh, uh, Korea is a uh, very small world in farming also there. It's not a huge uh, land bank is there. Uh, small world in farmers are uh, many, and uh, India also same. So that is one one thing. Uh, uh, the missionary. What they are making is mostly uh, for the small world in farmers. And uh, whatever the products or uh, technology we are bringing to India, uh, we are not focusing on heavy machinery uh, initially. We want to focus on small world in farmers machinery uh, that help for, uh, for, help them for the uh, large scale of farmers. Uh, even uh, these products uh, which are successful in Korea, we have to test it in India. 
whether this is suitable for immediate climatical conditions, soil conditions, and uh, how the technology is more uh, convenient for the uh, farmers or uh, farmers to use it. So we have to analyze all these things. That's the reason uh, we are incubating our products in uh, PGTSAU. And uh, we are also collaborating with a lot of uh, 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 so many, so many uh, organizations and associations in India, especially when we met uh, first time. Uh, Dr. Surinder Singh Ji uh, guided us uh, where to meet and who, who actually uh, right people uh, you, can, you should contact. So his help is always there with us. And uh, uh, then we started uh, collaborating with the university and uh, associations, uh, especially agriculture related associations like MCCIA uh, in Maharashtra, uh, Horticulture uh, uh, University in uh, uh, Haryana and also working with PJTSA uh, and also we uh, we work with the ECLISAT. So these, uh, we are taking all the guidance from them and educating uh, to the Korean uh, manufacturers or companies who are coming, who, who are willing to come to India. Then uh, based on the product, uh, once we select the product, we are uh, again testing it here and uh, getting the certification uh, before the commercialization. If any modifications or changes are required, then uh, uh, the company will do it, or uh, um, they will collaborate with the Indian partner uh, to the further modifications required. So this is what the uh, process we built, and uh, we follow the same, and uh, we also invite a couple of advisors from uh, your network for the industry collaborations, how we should do. Based on that, we analyze and uh, we think about. Thank you.